Notebook LM was already one of the best free AI tools out there, but this latest update has turned it into something else entirely. They've added the ability for us to now be able to go through and create slide decks, use Google's Nano Banana for infographics, and we've also now got access to deep research within the tool as well. And I'll be showing you all of that. But I'll also come with some of the smaller features that most people miss, plus a few tips and tricks to help get the best reliable answers straight away. So first, let's come across to Notebook LM. I'll include the link in the description so you can find it nice and easily as you can see here they've got all of the documentation of what they can do but straight away you want to press try notebook llm that's going to open up this screen here for us to go through and create a new notebook this screen can be overwhelming to start off with but this is where we're going to add in all of the sources instead we're going to do close down we're going to come up to the top and just call ai for business now what we're able to do as well is have it all stored in here. You can come back to the notebooks and as you can see, we've got R1 added in here, or you can change it to the list view to find R1s nice and easy. You can also change it based on title if you've got multiple different ones in there for you to find. So now let's go through and see what Notebook LM is all about. If I just close this down, what we'll see on the left hand side is where we're going to store all of our sources. On the right hand side is going to be the studio which will help us change the different outputs we're going to get with notebook lm and in the middle here this is where we're going to be able to chat back and forth with those different sources to get the outputs so now let's go through and add in some sources on the left hand side here we can see we can add in all these different sources what we want to do is press the drop down we're now going to be able to see deep research. We want to click on this to get lots and lots of different results coming back. In this use case, we're going to be able to use the internet as well as connect our Google Drive to add reference document. If I come through here, we're just going to say that we want to understand how to get the most value from AI in business today. Now, if we send this off, it's going to go off and crawl loads and loads of different pages on the internet to pull back some reputable sources for us to use. So whilst this goes through, who's Notebook LM really for? Notebook LM is definitely for you if you're tired of AI making things up or also known as hallucinations, or you've got different notes in 10 different places that you want to be able to use. And third, you want to be able to take all of these different mediums, you know, notebooks, PDFs, YouTube videos, everything like this, and convert it into nice, concise summaries, able to do videos about it, get slide decks, and much, much more. So there we go, it's now completed that deep research. And as we can see on the left hand side here, we can now view all of the different details it was able to identify. We're going to have a long, deep research paper in here. We can also see that in this use case, it found 46 different citation sources. And if we scroll down here, we can also click on this link to see them as well. So for example, here, this is to do with BCG. If we come back across to our notebook, what we can also do is decide whether to select all of them, unselect them, and include as many as we want by simply ticking the ones at the end here. At the moment, we're going to start off with 20 different sources, but we can also include this all the way up to 50 different sources. So I'm going to do import, and now it's going to start loading all of these different citations into our notebook that we can use. So now all of these sources are imported. What you'll also be able to see is some of them weren't able to be used. The reason for this is because they're typically behind a paywall, so we're not able to access them straight away. What you can do though is, for example, click on the dots and you can do removed failed sources all in one go, which you'd previously can do, or you just want to remove that specific source. You can also go through, open up that web URL, and then just add it if we come up to the top as a pure paste text in here as well. Totally up to you for what you want to do. So let's come down and we're just going to remove all of the failed sources. Now we want to go up and maybe we want to add in some other ones. We're going to do a YouTube video. In this use case, maybe you've never heard of AI agents before. There's this video from IBM that we're now going to be able to include and use as much as we want, as we can see here. So if I close this down, what we can also do is connect in our Google Drive or upload PDF files in here. If I come across to Google Drive, 
we're going to import some recent papers that I found on AI. So now they're all uploaded. We've got a couple of different ways of being able to interact with all of these different sources. On the left hand side here, you can click into any of the sources that you've got. And as you'll see here, they've got a few suggested questions that you can already trigger straight away for that specific source. What I like to do though is come into the center of our chat window here, come down to the bottom and use three starter prompts to make sure that we've got the best information for the future. I start off asking, identify any areas where my sources dis disagree or contradict each other. We're going to send this off and now it's just going to evaluate all of those sources. So there we go. We just got our response back. And as you can see in the middle here, we've got disagreement on the time frame for realizing ROI, contradictory metrics for productation gains, conflict of terminology, and that's it. What we can do as well is we can save this as a specific note if we want to. The other great part now is that all of this is going to be automatically saving straight away. So even if you leave this note, you're not going to lose it like you did in the past. You will also see here that we've got some dots, which is going to open up some of the different citations the notebook has used to provide our responses, as you can see here. It's going to suggest some more questions, but we're going to keep going through with our two remaining prompts to make sure we've got all of the data we need. Next, I'm going to come down and ask what gaps exist in my sources, what's missing to fully understand this topic. Again, we'll send this off. Now it's going to go through, identify any of the gaps and put it back. As we can see here, it looks like cost and investment is missing at the moment. We've then got standardized metrics, as it mentioned a bit before as well comprehensive talent and workforce strategy so we definitely want to include that we've also got mechanism for continuous auditing and governance and that's incredibly important for ai and business that many people miss and we've got socio-political and economic impacts and last but not least we're going to give it the final prompt of are there any contrarian alternative or lesser known viewpoints not covered here again we're trying to cover all of the bases before we start deep diving to get the best outputs possible so there we go and last but not least we've got a couple of points here to bring out as well so now we've imported all of our data how can we bring it to life well as you can see in here we can go through and chat back and forth with it nice and easy in the interface like we've done already or we can come through to the studio and this is some of the real magic with notebook lm as you'll see in studio, we've got the option to do audio, video, mind map, quiz, flashcard, report, and the two brand new features of infographic and slide deck, which are going to be leveraging Google's Nano Banana. What I really recommend is you don't just click on them, actually come through to the pencil. And then as we can see in the middle here, you'll be able to add some customization to that output. You can say if you want deep dive or brief or critique, in this case, if you wanted it to be an audio overview. The same if we were to come through for video, as you can see here, we've got the different styles that it would be able to go through and generate the outputs. We can also do the mind map quiz. We've got the infographics as well here, and we've got the slide decks that we can use too. So let's come through and check them out. First of all, we're going to start off with our mind map, which is how we can tie together all of the different notes from all of the different elements that we've got within our sources, as you can see here. So now we can expand them more and more and more and pull out some of the key points for us to analyze further. It's a really good feature if you want to see how some of it ties together. Now, if we come down, we can also do flashcards as well. So maybe you're trying to learn and understand a topic. As you can see here, you can go through, test yourself, get it to explain the answers and much, much more nice and easily. If we come through to the next one all around the quiz, very similar idea. It's going to generate a nice, easy quiz for us to go through and do. So, for example, here, purpose of AI within an organization, we can come through and also do option B, whatever we want to see the right and wrong answer. If we come through to the next one, we can then see a white paper. So this was the reports functionality where it's gone through and done a super detailed white paper write up for us on this specific topic. 
We can also unvote or downvote the result to help it learn and get the better outputs over a longer period of time. Next is one of my favorite features, which is that infographic. If I open it up, I think this is going to look absolutely fantastic based on the testing I've already done to think this wasn't even possible a year ago. And now we can get amazing outputs that look like this. On a quick glance, we can tell it's not 100% straight away. For example, we've got songs instead of specialized, maybe sounds or something different to go in there. But this is going to give us a really good output to start off with and to think how much detail it's already got in here. There's been some really creative ways that people have used this. For example, this was someone sharing their marketing journey, actually bringing it to life with an infographic. If we come down to the next one, this was a process around actually going and solving through maths problems. And I think that one looks really good. If we come a bit further down, there was other ones in here as well that we could see around his career journey for using this on LinkedIn. And if we come down, we've got one final one I wanted to show you as well, which is how we can again get it to break down different elements of a salad, which a year ago wouldn't have even been possible based on the functionality. So I hope this sparks some ideas on how you could use some of the infographics to bring lots of data to life. Now, one of my favorite features is the audio overview. We've got two different ways of the interactive mode. So if I open this up, we can do play. Okay, let's unpack this. If you're an executive, a planner, or you know, just someone tracking the capital markets, you've seen this massive global investments. There is now bringing it to life with two different people that are going to be talking. We can also just come through and play that output as well. Next up, we've got the slide deck. So we can open this up and check it out. Again, all of this has been generated purely with Nano Banana. We've got a really funky icon on the right here. Quick look through, nothing looks out of place massively. It's got some interesting infographics again not 100 percent straight away but it gives us a really good starting point if we wanted to change it or if we wanted to go through and then actually use this as a presentation later on again not reading through all of these it's interesting to see how far notebook lm has come and i think having stuff like this included is going to be really really useful and then last but not least we've also got the video overview in here so let's check it out welcome back Today, we're diving into one of the biggest challenges for any leader out there, how to navigate the super complex, fast moving world of AI. They've got some really, really good infographics in here. And that voiceover looks incredibly good as well. I'll include this full video in the AI Edge. So definitely make sure to come across to our community if you're interested in learning more about AI and automation. Now, one of the best features about Notebook NM that enables us to get these outputs like you've seen is that we've got a maximum word count of 25 million words. That's significantly higher than Claude, Gemini, ChatGPT, and this helps us get the best outputs when we're going through the sources. But I found it's not very creative. So what I tend to do is get 90% of the way there with my notebook chat, and then I'll copy those results put it into something like Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok to make it a bit more creative in that output. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you're excited about for Notebook LM, anything you want us to deep dive on and stay tuned for more around AI automation and have a great day.